Hey, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Emerald Randomized Nuzlocke. With me, Dr. Cloud. And today, I believe we'll be getting a few encounters here, because now we have access to the desert with the Goo Goo Goggles. Let me check real quick though, if we have any footballs. It'll be alright. And we'll start making our way slowly to Fortree City. Um, there's one more thing though. I want to run up here real quick to Fiery Path and take advantage of my strength user. Because I don't remember what's over here. If you guys are lost where we are right now, you can always go back and look in the playlist that will link down below. And I really hope you enjoyed those episodes because there have been a few crazy things here and there. Uh, finding a low tide is not one of them. I'm actually kind of curious what's over here though. I feel like this is where I found Kabutop, so I don't know why I'm finding... Uh, yeah, that's actually exactly where I found him. Is that all just to get this item? Where's the legendary back here? Oh, there we go. There's Bobby. Just throwing in my face. I know I lost Bobby. It was sad. Wow. Feebas would have been an interesting encounter. Although, I'm... I guess Feebas has to evolve by... Um... Berries. And like, you max out his beauty stat. I don't know if I'd be able to evolve within this. Because whenever I, I did randomize this game, um, I did change impossible evos. But I don't know if that would let me... Um, I don't know if that would let Feebas evolve, because Feebas can evolve in the game, it's just kind of hard. Let's see if I can have a corrupt health. I'm pretty sure I bought some. I don't want you guys to have to just sit here and watch me run from stuff. So, I have regular repels though. Yeah. Oh boy, now I can get out of here. That was very pointless. Alright, let's get this encounter in the desert and see if Relic Castle is there. Because now I'm thinking about it, I just remember that the 5th gem is back in Petalburg, so I could pretty easily run back there and challenge the gem. Which you might end up doing today. Okay, Relic Castle is not here, so that's a little bit disappointing. But I know there's also a decent amount of hidden items in the desert, so... Hopefully, I can get all of those. Maybe get a Master Ball? Wouldn't that be nice? It says, I haven't gotten an Entei and a Latias. Hmm. That is not a good thing for Tamrat to go up against. Let's see how this goes. I just feel like Revenge is going to do absolutely nothing. I'm, yeah, it definitely resists revenge. So I think I'm just gonna switch out into Nancy. I 
just need to get Tamarat like Thunderbolt or something. Honestly, any special move at this point would be fine. Ooh, Pro Strats right there. I forget a lot of times that Nancy has Battle Spear and it just kind of happens. You know, I feel like I'm basically going through with a team of four right now, because with Scarlet's uh, um, nature the way it is, it just sets her up really bad, because they don't have the physical special split, and even if I get, like, move like Zen Headbutt, I can't really do that much with it, because it's still special, and my attack sets higher anyways. It's just not the most useful Pokemon at, at this point. That's really dumb that whenever you switch out Pokemon and send in new ones that they still get hit by that. Hmm. It's still my best move to use on it. Well, maybe. I guess I can see how much Quick Attack actually does. Okay, with the um, Sandstorm, I'll definitely take out. Really? Can we just not for... just for a little while? Like, we're right at the beginning of this episode. really like a sort of easy time. Alright. It's just really annoying whenever they use one poison type attack and it poisons you. Because I feel like I think it's a 30% chance for most moves to poison. But no matter what it is, it's just always really annoying when it actually happens. I don't have any antidotes, but I got Petra Berries. Nope. Let me try that again. Mm, wait, wait, wait. That's a soft sand. There we go. Okay. So anyways, if we can get Relic Castle, then there are fossils that sit in Relic Castle for anyone who doesn't know that. And I'm now realizing that I actually couldn't do that because I need the mock bike to actually get through there. What I'm probably going to try to do is um, see if I can find a time where Relic Castle is showing up and hopefully catch that on video so you guys can see me actually get through there and get my fossil and then we'll revive it. Um, I think these two are really that threatening so I don't really know which one to target if I even should. threatening either. Dang. Is the sandstorm going to take out this Mikey? That would actually be kind of funny. Nope. Well. You know, I kind of wish I could get the Regis too, but I know you need like very certain things. And like, if I catch a Relicant or a Whale Lord, then I think we can do it. I don't remember what the last one is.
But unless one of those things happen, then I guess they're just lost causes. Use double battle cream in his head. Absolute trash. You know, something I'd love to get into playthrough would be a Togekiss. So I know Togekiss starts with a stacked moveset. So what we're getting to about probably like halfway through the game, why don't you guys start thinking about like potential other things that you uh, would like to see me do, like other games or playthroughs. I'm mostly trying, oh that's my encounter. I'm mostly trying to stick to Pokemon, but if there's like another game that you really want to see, then I will try to see if I can get that out there for you guys. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Wait, is this a new route? I don't think it is. Okay. Right. So I'm gonna go on the fact that even if it was, I just fainted my encounter. And I'm not gonna try to get another one. Because I honestly forget. So I don't Ooh! Ooh, that's fire! Alright, who can learn it? Well, actually, like, everyone on my team has a decent fighting type move right now. Still. How? Scarlet can let me back up that attack stat for you. Hopefully, by. The league, I'll have uh, a full team of six that I really want to add to the team. Because currently, I see my team as like four. I think I have, I think, a few decent things in the box. That with a little bit of leveling, they can be good. But, as for things I've really caught that are good just sitting in the box, there's not a lot of that. Like, I've got a Magikarp in the box. I've got... I've got a Swap Blue in the box. I've got an Omanite in the box. Omastar's not that bad. Okay, that's really annoying. I got a Ninjask. I don't. I'm pretty sure Ninjask was competitive in third gen. All right, I should be able to take it out with a quick attack now. All right. So. We're almost at halfway here, so let me get you to the question of the day. So, question to these. If you are a waiter, and you had a rude customer, how would you deal with it? Now, first of all, you have to like- ooh, hello. I did not know that you got double kick. Um, I think revenge is better though. Yeah. Revenge is better. Um, so first of all, you have to put yourself like in the place of this. Most people who have worked in food services, like, know how they deal with food customers. And a lot of time your boss is like, you have to treat the customer right, and typically you're going to give them basically whatever they want. And that kind of frustrates me, because you're not really showing the person that they need to appreciate what you're doing. You're showing them that they can get anything they want if they complain a little bit. Now I know in some cases, like, they're fair complaints, like, I've had, my family's had like plastic in their food, hair in their food, 
from different restaurants, and it's nasty, I will admit that. But you can't always complain about like little things, like the server didn't fill up my water. Like those aren't reasonable things, like these people have a lot going on too. They can't always be at your beck and call. They're constantly seating new people. They have about 10 other tables that have possibly more people than you. It's not all about you, it's just because you're the one paying money. Everyone else is there too. So, okay, let's get back to the question, because I went on a little tangent there. So, how to deal with rude customer? If they're just like yelling at your server or whoever is just trying to like hand them their food, then I just feel like you need to have a manager come up and they just need to tell them that they need to leave because they're being ridiculous at that point. They're not helping anyone or themselves, they're just making themselves look like bigger idiots. Now there's a lot of different ways that something like that could unfold, so I'm not saying that's the way to do it in every situation. It's just in a certain situation that is a way you can handle it. And let me know in the comment section down below how you deal with or have dealt with or would deal with a rude customer if you have been, are, or hypothetically were a server. I guys talked a lot, but not a lot of time went by. And I kind of wish Nancy would learn double kick. But I mean, if she hits all these arm thrusts, then it's doing the work. It's just it's really frustrating whenever she hits two. Actually, when I get this, I'm gonna check my Pokenet real quick. Because I'm pretty sure that the route doesn't switch over whenever you get into the desert at all. It's not like the desert is on a separate area. Relic Tower or Castle is, but I'm pretty sure the desert is. Yeah, I'm still on Route 111, and I already got that encounter. I got Swabble it. Which, honestly, I will take over a Lily. Oop, Bagsful. Um, let's toss the green shard. I'm gonna get more of a max elixir than green shard anyways. Oh darn, I could have had Plusle and mine in. Anything wrong? I really do have a soft spot for Plusle and mine in, but... I almost want to count them as one Pokemon most of the time. Because they're just so similar. I don't even know if they have a different level up moveset, because I feel like it'd be the exact same. So, I just started a new um, project with some friends of mine, and we're playing through Crystal. I get to my starters, and I have Need Arena, I have Dragon Knight, and I have Celebi. And it was just ridiculous whenever we opened it up. I mean, one of my friends also got a Raikou, so... Obviously, he was happy with that. But it's just like, this is ridiculous. I'm not looking for legends. I just want something that's like, good enough that it won't get killed by the beginning Pokemon that I see. I mean, granted, I ended up uh, taking this LB and I needed it because I had two Weezing that self-destructed self -destructed in my face when I was trying to catch them. It was very, very frustrating. 
because I kept missing encounters because they were either legend encounters or they blew up. It took me all the way till Sprout Tower to actually get an encounter. Oh, it's garbage. I know, but you both not worth a lot of XP, but come on. That was kind of really close. Alright, let me just... Nope. I thought there was an item over here or something. I really need to put stuff in the PC, though. Mm-hmm. Alright then. I know Deox gets a garbage move level up move set, so... Now I think the most you can do to me is Pursuit and Wrap. Because it's actual most powerful move is Nightshade. That's really sad now that I'm saying it out loud. Like, most of the time you would be happy to get Deoxys, but whenever he first came out, he just was not that good. Go from my level up though. See, I have like a really strong base team right now, and especially whenever they hit final stage. So I already have, uh, what is it, Dugong and Jolteon, which, even though Jolteon doesn't have a stab move, it's still really good. And then I have Combuskin and Vigoroth, which still haven't hit final stage, which I almost don't want Vigoroth to because slacking with Truant, it just takes away from what it is. Okay, I, I do not care about that. Didn't I fight this guy? All right, no, I didn't. Did fight this guy. It was called Mirage Tower. I don't know what I was thinking. I can't remember what I was thinking. Was some something castle. Which maybe that's fifth gen. I honestly can't remember. No. Alrighty then. Go from Deoxys to Moltres. So really wish Dugong got a water type move. Like I would honestly take the TM for water gun at this point. Okay, let me see if I can switch. Uh, yeah, I can. Bat, you're kind of finally coming back in. You know, now that I'm going through this, I don't know if we're actually going to have time to uh, finish the gym. We'll probably have time to start it, but I don't know about finishing. So, I'll try my best to get into the gym, and we'll see if we can get up to a point where we are ready to fight gym, the gym leader. Which, that's always been one of my favorite parts about this game, is the fact that you, first of all, know your dad. And he's kind of there in your life, but not really. Um, hmm. You're especially bulky. Yeah, let's keep going. So I'm pretty sure Jirachi has, um, confusion, so... I, mean, I guess I could try to flinch it out, but I am nine levels above it. That did not work as well as I wanted it to. What a psychic. I am really glad I didn't throw out Surya. 
those ready too. Honestly, very annoying with the sand and leftovers. It's actually nothing is being achieved. And that's even worse. Uh, maybe Sir, you can come in though now and. Well, actually, I'd rather Nancy come. No. Sir, you can do the most damage to this thing right now. I just kind of have to hope that it stays asleep, because I'm pretty sure if I get one Psychic, then I'm gone. I mean, no one else can hit it that hard. Honestly, Ember is my best bet. She's still asleep. It's also very annoying it's not being affected by the sandstorm because it's a steel type. And it's faster than me. What should this do? Okay, I only have to hope it stays asleep for one more turn. Fine, Siri's got it. Siri's got this. It woke up. Oh, you swift. I feel like if I had ran through that through a damage calc, it 100% would have taken out Syria. I mean, it's a Jirachi. That kid had Moltres, Rhyhorn, and Jirachi. our way to um I know there's a rest house up here so I'll go up here. Oh I could go through Meteor Falls. I just don't remember if that's the fastest way here. No, it's not. Actually, if I go down, I can go through Rustboro Tunnel. Maybe we won't get to that today. And I just realized I don't have a Pokemon who... Dang it. First of all, I don't have a Pokemon that can use Rock Smash, so I can't even get to Mawville. Wait, can Slowpoke learn Rock Smash? So I'll be honest, I'm probably not going to use Slowpoke. No, okay. I don't want to teach it to Nancy or Surya. I can't fly quite yet. So I have to run, get a Rock Smasher. Then I have to go back to Mawville, switch bikes. Then I could go up Mirage Tower. Nargol. Nargol is just going to keep coming back on the team at this rate. Because you need Rock Smash to actually do some amount in this game, and honestly, I just don't want to teach it to anyone. Because I don't see a good reason to teach it to anyone else. Most of them have better fighting type moves, like I said multiple times, and I have Cross Shop too. Why do I always get an encounter here? 
I don't want to deal with you, Gold Duck. get both bikes in this game or is it only in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire after you do like a bunch of random things where you can get it? Because I know you can in those games. I had to try to look up how to do that because it was just so random I felt like. Okay. Still here? Darn it. Back tower. Thank you. Okay, so I do get a Mirage Tower encounter. And that is a shoulder. Do I already have a shoulder? Let's hope we can learn it. Live ahead, but it took that pretty well, actually. I'm gonna hit it with an aura beam too. Nope. That was my bad. I probably could have got that shelter pretty easily. All right. Let me use more pals. Isn't there a rock smash way of doing it? No. Turn it. Come on. There we go. I don't really want to see what else is here because I feel like I'm just gonna feel bad that I got a shelter. There we go. Don't even have to fall down the hole. There we go. See, I actually need a rock smasher to do this. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the... well, maybe... Mm. Is it root or... Um, what's this one? Claw. I oh, know I do like uh, Armaldo better. That's right. I mean, I probably won't get that, but still. All right. So we're we're gonna make our way to Rustboro at least. Boy, can I just use a Pokemon and it was dig, and they'll just dig it up out of there? That'd make a lot of sense, honestly. If you went to like the exact spot that it fell in, you could just dig it up. Secret hint, um, secret hack in the game where they put the code in, coding in to do that. It would make a lot of sense to me at least. I'm gonna switch back to the acro because I know whenever you head towards Four Tree City, there are a couple of those where you can only get to through the acro bike. Okay, so like I said, this is what we're going to do. We are going to get to Rustboro City, and we're going to see what this fossil is. And that's where we're going to make it to today. Just going to save time. There we go. 
pretty sure this is where the fossil restoration is. It's one of these guys. This one? Yeah. Alright. So, this fossil is... Ooh, it's a Flaffy! I'll take it. Um... Oh my gosh. I'm going to call Flaffy Peep. Because I think of Little Bo Peep. Oh. Sure, that's how I'm going to spell it. Okay, we're going to run back to Pokemon Center. I'm going to look at Flappy. While we're doing that. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, uh, please like and subscribe to this. And uh, if you wish to know when my videos go up, I will link my Twitter in the description below. And let's take a quick look at this Flappy, because I want to know what it's like. Because I don't know what levels are like for Foss in this game. Well, 20. It's not bad. Has Thunder Truck and Blizzard Wave. Alright. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, in the next episode, we will be going to take on the Petalburg Gym. So, please join me for that. And, uh, remember, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, so have a banana.